which moment in history of cricket you would like to reenact where you would be the player the protagonist who turned the game on its head uh, i would still look to reenact my own performance <laughs> in 2001 against uh, australia you yeah. know i think uh, that was one of the most uh, uh, remarkable matches i have been part of but apart from that probably uh, i still fondly remember the stories told to me about uh, gr vishwanath you know the he got 90 uh, seven runs i think against the west indies the mighty west indies uh, at chennai on on a on a difficult wicket on a dangerous wicket and uh, uh, the way he was square cutting the fast bowlers on that wicket and that that knock held the team to uh, win the game you know so i think that that uh, knock is something which i always uh, remember you know and uh, i think that knock uh, or those kind of stories gave me the uh, inspiration that even when i play for the country i want to win matches for the country in tough situation and on uh, tough wickets or you know uh, in tough conditions so i think that that's something which probably i would uh, love because uh, only one or no i would say probably two uh matches i remember uh, in my career where i perform in tough conditions uh, the 69 i got against australia in 2004 at the wankhede stadium where probably that was the toughest wicket i played on uh, and we went on to win the match uh, in restricting uh, australia uh, for be- below 100 runs uh, to win the match and then uh, 96 i got against uh, yeah against south yeah. africa at durban you know again when none of the other batsmen Uh, got to a fifty, uh, but I went on to score ninety six. I was the last man out. I still regret not getting that hundred. But again, on that wicket to uh, contribute in the team's win was very satisfying. So probably uh, Mr. Vishwanath, J. R. Vishwanath's knock uh, at Chennai was something which probably I would love to enact.